police used lethal razor wire to separate the squabbling factions in the squatter camps of Katlihong. Some three kilometers of wire was used as police held a meeting with local leaders on the unrest. In Katlihong itself, the cleanup began. Most township fighting has been inter-tribal, between supporters of the African National Congress, many of whom are Hosas, and the Zulu-based Inkata Freedom Party. But the violence here was only between Hosas, reportedly less political in cause than social. One camp, the Mandela village, had running water and portable toilets. The other, the Holomisa camp, didn't. The result has been large groups of men from each camp making raids and counter-raids, burning, looting and killing. This three-day orgy of violence saw hundreds of shanties burnt down and 15 people killed. About 2,000 people have left the camps, taking what possessions weren't destroyed, and headed for the neighboring suburbs of Johannesburg. The government imposed emergency orders on Katlehong and other townships in the Johannesburg area. Troops and police patrolled Katlehong to enforce the peace. remind you that uh, before this slaughter the police were warned that uh, there was going to be an attack that night and they did nothing about it <laughs> liberation movements have been the leading force in directing the efforts, not only of your people, but also those of the democratic forces throughout the world, which have lent their support to the struggle you have relentlessly been waging for the destruction of the abhorrent system of apartheid. Our idea is that uh, we should speak with one voice, not only by way of rhetoric, but uh, by the way in which uh, we face 
the problems that have arisen. Those expectations. This, the eyes of independent Africa, particularly the frontline states, as well as the eyes of the international community, are all focused on this historic meeting.